Hello Capricorn! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Uh, website on here is Llewellyn.com. I believe the current one is usgamesinc.com. But if you look up Cyril Marchetti and Tarot with it, you should easily find their stuff. Okay, Supportive Oracle Cards. Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. Websites in the back here, toryhartman.com, watkinspublishing.co.uk, or .com. Feel free to freeze frame and use whatever information you need there. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? Is some is it is something coming in or going out? I think something's going out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then I just saw like five cards. They're like it's ending. Like see it for what it is. Um Something that was very positive. This is weird. I feel like this is odd to start with. So this card's in question. How much did this situation really match you? At one point, it felt like it was perfect. This doesn't have to be a relationship thing. It is the lover's card, but it's like, at one point, I feel like you thought this was great. This is perfect. This is exactly what it should be. The question is, I mean, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be easily a situation, but you know when somebody, they listen intently and they, they want you to like them, so they say what they think you want them to say, and they try to pay attention to what you like, and they try to like what you like, they try to do it the way you want it done. It could be a person, it could easily be a situation in my opinion. Depends on what hits for you, but whatever it was, it very much catered to you. It wanted to impress you. It wanted you to like it, whatever it was, person or situation. Um, and I feel like it only lasted so long. I don't. Some people could go on like that for years, and I get that. Um, but this this didn't work. Um, this didn't work. Something is leaving here. Something was pretending to be something it wasn't, is what I'm getting. Because the Lovers comes up as the challenge card. It's like, it wasn't working. And the Death card is like, because, it's like, what's the outcome is. But, like, it just ends at some point. Now, I don't... It's going to be different for everybody. I know that. It's a general read. But, like, either that way that the situation used to work, person or situation, has ended. Or the situation or person is left. One of the two, because I'm getting the death card. I don't feel like it's a physical death like anybody died. I do feel like, though, the effort to match you and to impress you has ended. Because I'm seeing like this is the connecting card between the two of these. I don't know if I should show it that way, but in case you want to see it. But like it's showing me like how what's not working with what's happening is connecting. Like the service here, the way it was working, the way it was being handled has stopped um and you see the thing is with capricorn what you see is what you get you're going to do what you're going to do if you're going to handle it this way you, you commit to handling it that way and that's what you do um i don't know i feel capricorn is what you see is what you get you're going to do it your way and that's just how it goes it's just how it goes um seven of pentacles with the acceptance is kind of like you came into this being who you are. You weren't trying to impress anybody. You weren't trying to be what somebody wanted you to be. You were just being you. And you had no intent in showing something that you weren't. But in that same energy, you have no intent of changing who you are, nor should anybody, in my opinion. Um, you go in as who you are, honestly. That's who you are. That's who you're going to be. And I feel like accepting that whatever or whoever you were dealing with, I feel like they wouldn't look at it this way, but it was basically a lie. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel about it when I'm connecting to it. Kind of like they were lying about who they were. I feel like they wouldn't see it that same way. Maybe they, I don't know. 
they just don't see it the same way. I keep getting that over and over. Like, they do not see it that way, but the way... It's just they weren't being who they really were. And isn't that a lie? Like, maybe I'm splitting hairs on that. I don't know. Um, they weren't who they... They weren't being who they really are. So when they couldn't keep that up anymore and that facade fell away, the true them came forward, and it's not a match. You're having a hard time seeing that for some reason. I feel like you're having a hard time realizing that this person... It was a lie. I, I don't know why I'm so hard on that, but I feel like... They were basically portraying that it was a it was a mask. When you when you approach somebody with a mask and pretend you're somebody who you're not, that's a mask. And when the mask falls away, the truth is then revealed. So if that wasn't the truth before, then it was a lie. I don't know why I'm so like that right now. I'm just kind of like it was a lie because they were lying. Whether they want to accept it or not, they were lying. That's a lot. It's a version of a lie. I don't know. I'm like all up on the soapbox about it. Um, it has. It's not you. For some reason, I feel like for those of you this is really going to be painful for, it's kind of like, well, what did I do? Why did they change? Why are they treating me this way now? It's not you. It's just them showing who they really are. This is how they normally treat people. This is how they normally act. The niceties, the whatever, all that stuff that looked like you matched on, that was a falsehood. They just couldn't keep it up anymore. But the way it feels, I feel like the way it feels to you is kind of like, why are they doing this? Why are they treating me this way? Why aren't they being like they were before? What happened where they decided I wasn't worth it anymore? That's not it, though. I feel like that's the point. That, that has, that's not it. You didn't do anything wrong. You're still the same person you always were. It's the, the mask fell. They couldn't hold up the, mas the masquerade anymore. They can't. They just can't. Um... I feel like you keep questioning. For those of you this is going to hit with, you keep looking at it, trying to understand, like, I don't understand why it changed, why, they, why they're acting this way now. That's the answer, though. I think that's the painful answer. I feel like you're trying to make sense of it. You're trying to make it work. You're trying to, like, do we need to have a talk? Is there something I could do a little differently? I mean, Capricorn, within reason, is negotiable. I feel like people don't realize that for some reason. Capricorn, within reason, and Capricorn doesn't usually make five-second choices. Like, all right, long-term, we want to change it like this. We want to do this a little differently. We can work at it. We can work towards it. We can go a little bit better, a little bit better. You know, you will negotiate things within reason. And you're kind of like, do I need to... Like, look at this. Do I need to talk it out? Do we need to kind of like, what's working, what's not? Why? What happened? I feel like you're looking for the moment where things went wrong. The, the moment where things went wrong was, was the moment that they tried to portray them as a situation, a person, when they portrayed themselves as somebody they're not. That's where the moment was wrong. It had nothing to do with you either. Um, it had nothing to do with you. The point is, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> You're not doing anything wrong. You're just trying to make something work that was wrong, that was false to begin with. I feel like I'm getting on that soapbox again. Um, the behavior might have changed to start with, or whatever this was might have left flat, flat out. Whichever it is, it, this is not a match. Eight of Cups going on. Six of Swords going on for whatever you're dealing with, person or situation, it's going to completely disconnect. It's going to move in a different direction. So if it's a job, I feel like you're going to get phased out or you're not going to be... It's going to be a situation where you're not appreciated anymore and it just doesn't work. Um, the falsehood is gone and I feel like no, the energy is not coming towards you anymore. You just don't seem to be valued like you should be anymore. The ultimate end game for you, for this situation, if this is really hitting, that I'm getting, is moving on. Kind of like, all right, I need something that's more truthful. I need something that's honest. Um, the way this situation started was not the truth. And I feel like for Capricorn, when you realize whatever the situation was, be a situation or a person, when you see it for the truth, like, that was never who they or this ever really was. It's easier for you to disconnect from it. Kind of like what I was committed to was this version of what I believed was the truth. Since that's not the truth, I'm, there's no commitment on your side. It's kind of like, wait a minute. How do I explain this better? I feel like I should just, there should be a better way to explain this. It's kind of like, you know, 
somebody said, I'm going to have this job, I'm going to have these hours, going to get this pay and do this, do this type of work. And then it's like, those hours, that pay and that type of work are not at all what I'm doing. It's like, you know, it's kind of like I was going to be the chef, I was going to work from 5 to 9, and I was going to make X amount of money. X amount of money is not happening, I'm not going to be the chef, I'm going to be the dishwasher, and uh, you know, and I have to work during the day. That's the that's the drastic difference, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. It's kind of like, I, I didn't commit to this, I'm not sticking around for that. Like, I would have to commit to being the dishwasher and doing it days and for a less amount of money. No, this is not why I came here. Um, it's easier when, when you realize it's not what you thought it was to walk away. Because I don't think it's going to be that hard for you to walk away once you accept it that it's wrong, that it's a lie. It's a lie. I'm just, here we go with the soapbox again. <laughs> it's a lie. It just is. So once you see it for that, I feel like it's easier for you to walk away and disconnect. Kind of like, well, that's, I didn't, I didn't show up for that. I didn't show up for this. I showed up for that. And that's a lie. So there's nothing for me to feel bad about. Like I'm just walking away. It's not even like you're walking away. It's just kind of like I wasn't committed to that. So <laughs> there's there's no problem. Well, I shouldn't say there's not a problem because there's a problem. Um, the sooner you see it for what it is and realize that's not what you signed up for, that's not what you committed to, the easier it is for you to disconnect and walk away. You you didn't invest in the lie. You invested in some, well. You invested in the lie. I guess I, that's what I should say. And once you see it as a lie, you're like, well, if I invested in a lie, then in truth, I didn't invest in anything. So there's, I gotta, I just gotta move on. I don't, I hate, I hate the way that comes across, but that's a brutal one too. Ooh. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, if it, if it's hitting, it's hitting. If it's not, it's not. That's just how it goes. All right, I think we should stop it there. All right, I'm going to shut it down. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.